Good morning. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm so tired. Look at me. Look at these. Right. Welcome to Clown World. Um, morning on X. Um, so this is a little thing that... <laughs> the worst music to have on in the background. Uh, this is a little thing I do uh, when I can, where I just have a look um, at the internet, see what everyone's talking about. Uh, and by that, I mean X. Once known as Twitter. Uh, there's been a lot of things, you know, happening in the ether. Russell Brand is the big, 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 big story, obviously. Um, and uh, certainly got my thoughts about it. Uh, everyone's going to have an opinion about. Oh yeah, I I think I think he did it. Oh oh no, I, I don't think he did it. Oh, this is a, a media cons the media conspiracy thing is like the insanest. Uh, well, it's not insane. Um, I think it would be deeply deeply worrying if there was like a <clears throat> organization at play. I think what there is is like a, there's a, there's a moving almost like a biological beast called the media. Um, and I think that the timing of things being released in the process they go through to have them released is um, it's, it's clever. But there's a lot of power in being a newspaper. And there's a lot of power in being somebody who works for a newspaper. I mean, I, I, when I worked in, uh, at the BBC... Uh, I knew that, you know, you could be setting agendas here for what people are going to be talking about. That's the sort of power you have that, you know, you and I, you and I at home don't have. Uh, you can pretty much think, right, I'm going to put make this an issue for the day. Um, now, I, um, full disclosure, I don't like Russell Brand. So I'm immediately going to be biased to, um, about him. And I don't uh, like that what I perceive as... Uh, you know, forgetting all these so-called, so-called, forgetting all these accusations uh, are made about him, putting those aside, I, 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 I thought he was a um, somebody who was, uh, I use the term bad behavior all the time, somebody who exhibited bad behavior all the time. He's not, you know, if you hired him, he, you would see his bad behavior, and that's kind of, and it, even just in his domineering way of talking, you know, how he, and the, the overly flowery language. You see him next to somebody who really knows what they're talking about. And he, he, the amount of time he spends asking a question, I think, it's, it's, has he done something with Douglas Murray? Douglas Murray, for me, is somebody who has, uh, he is a master of the English language and uh, expressing himself succinctly. Um, Christopher Hitchens, of course, was the, uh, the, the, the best, best, best at it. Um, up with it, I will not put. <laughs> and adding that little, so he's just, it was just a funny guy. Uh, so, but when you see like somebody like Rusty Ro Rusty Rockets, when you see somebody like uh, Russell Brand, um, Rusty Rockets is ironic, isn't he? <laughs> ironic name for him right now. Uh, when you see somebody like Ru uh, Ru and he said Russell, yeah, no, and then he said Russell Harty. That's how old I am. Russell Brand. When you see somebody like him next to somebody who knows what they're doing. You, you, there's just it just everything that Russell Brand says and does becomes performative and I don't trust people who who behave like that. Uh, I just don't. So that's bad on me, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look at the internet um, and see what's going on. All right. What are y'all talking about, guys? Right, so it, immediately it takes me into uh, 10 minutes ago, Leo Curse, see me on YouTube and headliners. Uh, we stand for diversity and inclusion. You must accept gender ideology or be included. World's biggest mod site, Bands Pronoun Removing Starfield Mod. World's biggest mod site, Bands Pronoun Removing... Oh, they Starfield removed the pronouns? You know, diversity inclusion is, um, you, d you don't need to have a diversity and inclusion uh, department in any sort of business. And I hope that uh, it will soon become um, something that is uh, seen as being a bad thing for a company to have. Uh, now, that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't have uh, people from diverse backgrounds included in your company. Uh, it doesn't mean that. 
<clears throat> it means that you just don't have a, a a group of people whose sole job it is to is to find bad be, bad things happening because they'll find it uh, where and uh, more often than not where it doesn't exist. And I have a lot of I'm uh, the result, you know. I was on GB News the other day, and um, I think I wouldn't have got on there if I hadn't been the result of diversity and inclusion. And you might say, "Well, that's good, isn't it? That's proof, you know, that we need we need to have more representation from idiots." Uh, <laughs> and that's completely true. <coughs> we do need to have more representation from idiots like me. And thanks to diversity and inclusion, I I, I scraped through. Uh, I got a job at the BBC, I thought, based on my skills and abilities. I used to be a reporter for a local newspaper. I worked uh, I used to work in the music industry. Um, I, I worked with George Martin, the Beatles producer, um, sort of sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly, working at Air Studios as a, a runner, tape hop type person. And I, um, I got a job at the BBC, um, after they did some tests, they're like, like three or four times I had to go down like second stage uh, and you're put into groups and you're tested. It was really thorough in the selection process. And um, sometime I, I got accepted and then sometime later they told me that uh, a little bit tipsy, my manager said, well, you know, we don't want Oxbridge types working at the BBC anymore, which is, you know, why we liked you. I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm... I sound like an Oxbridge type, don't I? And they said, no, no, your accent and stuff. You've come from Yorkshire and Scotland. This is just what we want. Uh, and I just thought, oh, this is ridiculous. These are things I don't have control of. Uh, why should you, you know, why should I be? Uh, that's unfair for other people. You know, what people who aren't from Yorkshire or Scottish I didn't get the job. I did because of just like, oh, they, they say luck. I mean, that's a debate, isn't it? Is it luck that you're born where you're born? Anyway, so that happened. Um, so get rid of these diversity inclusion places. They really, really, really suck. Right. What else is happening? Oh, people are liking my tweets as ever. If you're not following me on Twitter, at Flooded on Twitter, go, go and follow. I'm fascinating. I get obsessed with some people. I follow all sorts of people. Um, this is my... Um, my tweet deck. I've got all my bookmarks here. I've got my. I have lists of people. All the people who are into debating, media lovies. Uh, I've got loads of other lists, and I'll chop and change what columns I see here. What I like about uh, tweet deck is it does, as you just saw, it does some like live sort of updating. This is kind of interesting. Talking about Russell Brand, it says here. Um, I, 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 the morning the story broke, I was. Um, I, I, all the headlines on the newspapers were the same. British tabloids all put out the hit piece on Russell Brand at once. Well, that's because the um, because it was announced the day before, and I suppose you are given previews. They're, they're, you know, they're they're trying to sell newspapers. You know that, right? They're, and they're trying to sell you a documentary, uh, and that's that's kind of like because what you do, part of me thinks that when people make a documentary, they are activists who don't go out, who they may do, but they're not people who go out into the streets and protest. They actually have the, the power of the media. And they, they um, you know, if you feel very strongly about something that's personal to you, you've got, you know, like the person, people who made this have and do, they've got the power of making a, t a TV show about it. And for me, it's always a balance of um, what's most important, the, the making of a TV, a successful television program, or the issue you're trying to flag. And... I um cynical's part of me says it's the TV show. This is the most important thing. Um, and the selling of the newspapers is the most important thing. Because you sort of, uh, you know, newspapers will take a moral high ground on a story, but they, they, they might come from like the least sort of moral, um, I don't know, uh, moral place themselves. Uh, because these are machines. These are big machines. They're not like one person isn't necessarily responsible. Although I would say that the ultimate person responsible for making a documentary is the commissioning editor. Uh, and the commissioning editors uh, are, you know, the, the fact that commissioning editors don't let producers have power um, 
I don't know if that's directly a true statement to me, but because producers don't have power, um, people like uh, Russell Brand are are invited back because obviously there is a, a you know a big name. Uh, that's what the commissioner wants. We want a big name, big name. Uh, oh no, but he's kind of difficult to work with. Don't care, don't care. Uh, but he's cringe and he's creepy, and uh, the you know some women are afraid of him. Don't care, and it's fine. You know, but you wouldn't even have um, a producer probably flagging that because producers know they don't have power. Producers are people who, you know, they might, they might be managing with the scripting. They're probably, uh, you know, asking runners and researchers to book cabs. And it's all kind of admin -y to a certain degree. Um, whereas back in the day, if you were a producer of a show, you were the top notch person. You were like the skilled individual. Uh, why have I gone off on a tangent? So the whole conspiracy thing about, um, oops, about this. Oh, isn't it interesting that every, it's all dropped at the same time? This is like the 9-11 attacks. It's not. It's not like the 9-11 attacks. It's not like anything to do with COVID. It's nothing. There's no big machine there going, you know, like a big round table of uh, powerful people saying, well, now we're going to drop Russell Brand on everybody. Uh, that is Cloud World. Right. Um, yeah, so get lost, you idiots. You are too far gone. And uh, I don't think it's a shame how to get lost. Breaking, what's this? Paul Brand. What's Paul Brand breaking? Hold on. Paul Brand's breaking a news story here. Breaking news. Russell Brand banned from making money on YouTube. Oh, no. This is actually happening. Russell Brand, banned from making money on YouTube. He's been deplatformed. His video platform takes action for policy violation. Uh, what's the policy violation? Russell Brand has been suspended from being able... Well, you don't get suspended. Well, maybe you do. Russell Brand has been suspended from being able to monetize his videos on YouTube. The Google-owned company said that the comedian had violated our creator responsibility policy. Okay, well, let's have a look at it. Ooh. I'm, I don't need a journalist to tell me anything else. I'm going to jump to the YouTube. YouTube. Let's have a look. Right, guys. This is what you get with me. Straight to, straight to the source. Straight to the source. Right, here is creator responsibility. Creators are the heart of YouTube. Part of being a creator means that you're a member of a large, influential global community. You can help us to preserve and protect this unique, vibrant group. As a creator of YouTube, you agree to follow our community guidelines. It's important that you understand that these guidelines are... Uh, are um, guidelines are in place because they are not monitored by Ofcom, actually, actually the law. Earn money on your content. Creators who want to monetize content have the following more guidelines. AdSense, blah, blah, blah. By respecting these guidelines, you'll help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos from being monetized. Protect YouTube community. If we see that a creator's on and off platform behavior harms other users, community employees, or ecosystem, we may take action to protect the community. Is that the bit? As a YouTube creator, you sh should remain responsible both on and off the platform. If we see that a creator, creator's on and off platform behavior harms our user's community, employer's ecosystem, we may take action to protect the community. Beyond the content that you upload the video, there are examples intended to cause malicious harm to others, participating in abuse or violence. While these behaviors are rare, they can cause widespread harm. I, is that is that the bit? Uh, let me just go back to see what news guys is saying. In a statement, YouTube said, we have suspended monetization of, of Russell Brand's channel for violating the creator responsibility policy. If a creator's offline platform behaviors harm other users, employees, or ecosystems, we take action to protect the community. Uh, creators offline well that's kind of like assuming he's guilty isn't it so um if russell brand wins this case he can then take youtube to court i would have thought so that's definitely on the cards now now that's a lot of money that's a lot of income that's a lot of money uh the thing is like YouTube kind of have to, this is all I'm going to talk about now. YouTube kind of, so switch off if you're not interested. 
uh, and I make no apologies. I don't edit this. Uh, this is all done live, so um, I, I, I probably lose people after the first couple of minutes. That's fine. Um, YouTube, uh, their number. They make their money by placing adverts um, alongside and within and embedded into videos. So if uh, there's somebody who's proving to be, you know, the zeitgeist is working against him and uh, public opinion is swaying that we don't like this guy, uh, advertisers aren't really going to want their adverts associated with him because like he's t there's toxicity around this person right now. And that is completely understandable from, a, you know, if you're trying to sell something, if say I'm trying to sell uh, soap, uh, you know, I'm a new guy and I've, I'm about to invest, I, I, you know, I, I don't make much profit i'm going to sell my soap and uh, i want it to be on, oh we can put it on a, 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 a russell brand video if you want I said well i'm um, okay i'll spend 250 uh i'll spend 2500 pounds in an advert campaign to have my uh, soap sold uh during russell brand videos well that's gonna we now know that there are activist groups out there who will target um companies for associating for having their for for selling things on the, on the um on the popularity of individuals that they deem sort of morally corrupt or whatever or bad people so youtube has no interest in having if there's a, a toxic story going about that involves an individual uh youtube have no interest in uh having their adverts against it unless of course it's somebody who is say trans um maybe a popular singer perhaps maybe you know um there could be lots of out, outrage about that person uh but uh the um the powers that be and the laws kind of on their side they they will stick with that person unless you're uh, bud light so it's it's a very interesting this is kind of like the demonetization and this is the de this is the deplatforming happening now because he always he has YouTube as a platform still he can still make videos on there, uh, and I think this might be a step to him not even being on their platform. Uh, it's ridiculous that people. I mean, if anything, this supports the idea that this is trial by media, doesn't it? Because it, they they are they 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 are the 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 judge and the jury. The documentary that got made about him. They presented the argument of from the accusers. Uh, they uh, employed actors to present it. They used music to motivate how you feel about what you're hearing. They took transcriptions or from actual interviews uh, and then tidied them up and gave them to actors to, to say. And they lit the spaces where they filmed these actors in, the, in glo gloomily like you would for a... Um, this sort of uh, uh, documentary, they uh, shot the actors not just standing, sitting there, you know, acting out being a victim or being the victim. They actually shot it like they were trying to hide their identity, which is very deceptive, um, which helped the actual actors who were having their identity hidden, which is the silhouetted people. Uh, they um, it, it made them work better. It made everything a lot more plausible. And that... Uh, documentary is a massive piece of evidence for Russell Brand uh, to say that his kid, the whole thing's been prejudiced. Um, it's just very interesting how even even the situations where um, w the women uh, and just by the way, assaults on women is absolutely appalling. I get I'm angry just thinking about it. I've been assaulted before. Uh, and I like looked after myself and defending myself, and um, I didn't really know what was happening at the time. Um, but uh, so I'm kind of like angry about that happening in our industry. Uh, so that's all aside, right? Except that that they are number one in my mind when I talk about stuff like this. But I'm coming at this from somebody who talks about television making and program making. In this documentary, you had. Um, you had actors who were lit in a certain way, were filmed in a certain way to make it look like they were trying to not, you know, hide their identity, which is weird because they're actors. Um, and uh, they used music everywhere. I've actually forgotten what I was going to say because I was so distracted about the uh, the other thing. Uh, oh, no, that was what I was going to say. It was just that it's, it's when, because um, the transcripts were, were trimmed, seemingly trimmed, and they were presented so succinctly by actors... 
uh, and actors' voices, um, they actually added a little bit of performance to how they they were said. They, they were reliving the meeting Russell Brand moments, and but they had like a disgust to them when they were talking about that. It's like, yeah, I met him and he said this to me and he gave me a, he said, oh, put this dress on, and they you know they were they were doing the internet voice almost almost like doing an internet voicey thing of this is look let's, let's, let's look at what he did and there's music ominous music playing um and then um and, and I, I was with him for four years after that four long years so, hold on what what were you've just presented like you were disgusted by, by him at every stage of the the, the you know so-called or alleged grooming situation and you were loving it but you're presenting it now as you were hating it then and understand that it's hateable now but uh, at the time, the, you know, and also like the the reputation of, I mean, Russell Brand's reputation was joked about by presenters when he was being interviewed. He joked about it on stage, but it was, it was a reputation. Um, the, the, you know, be, being promiscuous is kind of like what, and he always presented himself as a bit of a rock and roller, didn't he? A rock star. Uh, and the, he was absolutely true to the stereotype of what rock stars do, uh, used to do before the internet anyway this is fascinating youtube doing this is uh, going to be a big big story in fact let me just see if it's filling the the airwaves uh it probably is let me just see bev turner oh look at bev turner's right off there she's going crazy i thought she was a bit bonkers during the um covid stuff she's now playing margaret thatcher clips for some reason um Here's the BBC picking up on it now. Uh, Russell Brand. Russell Brand, YouTube suspends monetization of Star's channel. There you go. I mean, you know, the next stage will be that he is chucked off completely. Uh, this, this, what this does, if if YouTube do this, or what, uh, as they have done, um, which they're perfectly entitled to do, by the way. It's up to them. They can decide whether you're part of it or not. That's what we agree to when we go into YouTube. I could probably... Could that happen to me one day? I don't know. I'm sure Russell Brand will be all right. He's got other strings to his, strings to his bow. Uh, not that I care, by the way. I couldn't care. Uh, I don't care what happens to uh, sex offenders. They, if they, they, Well, I do. I, I want them to be uh, removed from society forever. And then keys thrown away, to be honest with you. But um, there's stuff that, uh, from the everything that's been presented to me, it, I, it seems like all evidence has already been kind of tainted just by the dramatization of the evidence. Uh, you know, you don't get, um, you don't get to play music under the testimonies of people in court to to help the jury feel bad for what they're saying especially when it's actors involved. We have to watch this uh, carefully and see what happens. But uh, for me, that's it for now. That's 23 minutes of me rambling on. Well, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing as regularly as I can, which is just a, a sort of um, off-the-cuff live. Uh, it's, it, well, I guess it is live because it's recorded as live. Uh, look at what's happening and what you guys are talking about on the internet, uh, usually on X, which I think is just the superbest of platforms, so much better than it used to be. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll get you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>